So do you have any superstitions? Um, yeah, I mean, I've had loads of superstitions in the past. Like at Junior Worlds, I snapped my uh, lucky hairband, like it went flying, like, like hairbands do, and I wouldn't get on the track until my uh, swan had found it. And lucky enough, he did find it. <laughs> and did you win that race? I did, yeah, because that was the Omnia. <laughs> I'd have to say doing my nails is one. I'll do little designs. I like to have something different for every race. I'm the same if I have a necklace that I've worn that's been lucky in the past, I always wear that and I'll never shave my legs on race day. Apparently when you immediately shave your legs then the hairs start growing back so it's using more energy. So you don't want to waste any ounce of energy. Yeah I do actually, I never put the number on the night before, like we get the numbers the night before but I always leave mine until race day to pin it on. And I like to wear new socks if possible, but I've run out of new socks so never mind. Do you have any pre-race or post-race rituals? Maybe Tina Turner, simply the best, is on my playlist. <laughs> who needs an iPod? Who needs music? Who's yeah. got Nettie? Can you do it? Oh, yeah. God. Yeah, come you can on. Do it. You're the best ever. Bye, bye, lollipop. You make my heart go. Give me up. Oh, I race with a lucky marble. Do you race with that in your pocket? Yeah, it's weird. I wear this on my hand. And then I race from the same sports bra every race. I've got um, a lucky mascot that comes around with me. My dad bought him for me when I was little, and since that day, just kind of out of the blue, like it was a boys' race that my dad just said, "Go on, just ride," and I won. So ever since, he's just been in my rucksack. I always, I need to do my 10-minute last pee. It's one thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not particularly superstitious myself, um, but my husband is, and. Um, with a few crashes in the early season, he's now um, said I'm not allowed to wear my black Oakleys anymore, so um, tomorrow I'll be wearing white ones. <laughs> I'd say no, because I pride myself on being logical and not having these superstitions. But whatever race number I get, it becomes a lucky number, so 13 and 3 are lucky, and you can basically make a 3 out of any number, so I do always do that, even though I don't think I'm superstitious. Have you got your number yet? Yes, and it's 81, which is 3 to the power 4 which is three times three times three times three, which is really lucky. Normally as well, I add up my number so that it adds up to seven, so I have to like sit there multiplying and taking away until it makes seven. <laughs> I have to eat a banana one hour before the start. 45 minutes is also fine, or one hour 10 or something, but around one hour before the start, I have to eat a banana. For a big championship, so I get my nails done professionally, but for any race, they always paint my nails. If you see me on the start line with bare nails, that's, that's a bad sign, basically. Actually, for the past years, I have been doing my nails quite a lot, so I'm hoping that's going to bring me luck. I haven't got the flags on today, but they're a bit glamorous. I'm going for hot pink for tomorrow, so you can look out for those on the start line. And then, also, when I put on, when, normally when I race, I wear a new pair of socks, um, and before the loo, I leave the room, I have to step on a wet towel. And that came about <laughs> because um, in Appledorn Worlds, like, so the first Team Pursuit Worlds we won, when we left, I tried on a wet towel, and then obviously we won. So I've done it ever since. <laughs> so do you actually drop a wet towel on the ground and then stand on it? Well, normally I wash my hair the night before, so I wash my hair and then I'll leave the towel somewhere where I know I'm going to walk before I leave, and then I'll leave and tread on it. <laughs>